I mean, how could you not like this? It's got lightweight automation and it backs up to multiple devices simultaneously faster than you could manually. Brilliant. Hey guys, I'm Patrick Fuller, and if you're here to learn faster and make great videos, you're in the perfect spot. And I'm super excited today to talk about a little app that I've included in my editing workflow that has had a huge impact. It's this little thing called Folder Sync Pro, and it only does one thing, but it does it amazingly well. It helps you back up your files and folders way better than you could do manually. I should let you know that this is definitely not sponsored, and in fact, I'm actually using the free version of this app. I believe there's a paid version. I don't really know. I don't really care because the free one is working amazing. So not sponsored, but totally recommend it. Okay, there are four things I really think you need to know about this app if you're gonna consider using it. And the first thing is actually called Dell Sync Files, which doesn't really mean anything to you until you check this out. So if I jump into one of my external hard drives here, you can see kind of the structure that I'm using. I'm backing up more than just my project files. We're gonna get to that in just a second. But in particular, let's take a look at these video projects and this underscore Dell Sync Files. Anytime that you are going to delete something, or I should say the Folder Sync Pro app recognizes that you need to delete something, you can actually trigger it so it doesn't actually get rid of it and put it in a trash can. It'll drop it into this folder right here and it's a lifesaver because now it's not in the trash or totally gone. You can actually double check it if you need to. So here's what the app looks like. Let me pull this down, open app window, and you'll see you've got a thing here called move deleter files to Dell Sync folders by replacing or by adding. I choose replacing because it's simpler when I want to delete stuff. It's just a whole lot easier to find it. I've never really had a problem trying to recover files here, but I'm certainly glad that I could if I needed to. Okay, the second thing I think you need to know about this is setting up these new tasks, as they say, so that you can then back them up in sequential order or just in a big block. So this is my video projects copy. You can name it whatever you'd like. You choose a folder A and then a folder B, pretty obvious. And then a sync mode, which happens to be the fourth one. We're gonna get to that in a second because we still got one more to go. But basically you can run through here and then automate that process, which just happens to be number three is the lightweight automation. So not only can I pull this down here and kind of start that automation by choosing one task that I'm already highlighted, which in this case would be the video projects copy, or I can come over here to sync selected tasks and everything that I have checked off here will sync in serial which I gotta be honest, from an automation perspective, just the fact that I can click that one button, kind of a manual automation, if you will, is brilliant. But you can actually come down here and set your auto sync on a specific tasks if you just wanna do it routinely. So I did say I wanted to talk about sync modes as number four, so let's talk about that now. If I click here, you can actually see the different sync modes and the check boxes in the grid here don't make a ton of sense. So let's actually check out their website. And ultimately you have what I believe to be eight different sync modes and it comes down to bi-directional sync, either syncing A to B or B to A in totality or it's incremental sync or incremental backups. Now, I'm a two backup kind of a guy. I have a storage backup, which is more long-term storage. And then I have kind of a, on my blank disk, I have more of a, what I call rolling backup. And it's the active projects that I'm currently working on or that I'm about to start working on that just has the footage in it. Don't get me wrong, while I'm talking about video project work, whether it be client stuff or YouTube stuff, that's super, super important because I have literally gigs and gigs and gigs and gigs of data uh, and lots of different folders I wanna back up. Doing the mundane stuff, the daily stuff, the Adobe backup for an example, if this laptop dies, I already know where a lot of that folder stuff is. I could literally plug in my little external drive, my rolling backup one, into a brand new laptop, download the software, and I could be running in minutes rather than hours. So totally, totally worth it. Let's recap, super easy. Lightweight automation, and it transfers pretty fast? Uh, yes please. If you got something out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. I literally use this thing every day.
day. It's got lightweight animation. Animation? Animation? Not animation. Automation. Oh, I hate waiting for manual backup. Point, click, paste. Ugh, killing me.